Girls, it's time to go on vacation. Let's get up and get dressed. Harley, it's time to go on vacation. Aiden, it's time to get dressed. Let's go. Libby woke me up this morning because she wet the bed. So she's already been up and had a bath. Jin Jin. Jin, it's time to go on vacation. Last day to milk for or at least nine days, huh? Yeah. How do you feel about that? It's a little stressing. I always worry that something's gonna happen while I'm gone. I know there's still a little storm coming up in the Gulf. So, we, you know, it always gets you a little fearful at the farm. Oh, good three gallons this morning. Yeah. We taking that with us or are we leaving? We are probably leaving that because I have three gallons with us. It is time. It is time. I think the last, no, the bathroom bag's not in there yet, but the rest of the bags are already loaded up. Aiden just put his stuff in here, which is one of the last bags. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? So we have some really excited kids. They're, most of them are already loaded up. We are waiting on just a couple more things. So in about the next five minutes, we're hoping to pull out. And as of right now, we are ahead of schedule. You ready to go? a gas problem uh, <laughs> I feel like we're many, stopping like every hey, yeah how many times have we stopped and filled up and this is our second time second and we're oh, probably close to halfway hours. yeah not too far so we're getting close to halfway around that halfway mark not quite there yet we've stopped twice and it has really been just for gas we have held up good on bathroom stops we've held up good on snacks and stuff because you know guys know I bring a lot of my own things so we don't have to do like convenience store snacks and stuff like that but gas seems to be the thing when we're pulling the trailer it just sucks gas so on the road again but in what two hours we mean about every yeah. two hours we're having to stop so we are getting closer, inching closer. I hope the next time that I turn you guys on is to let y'all know that we're there. So, making our way down south. We're south, but we're going even further south. So, it'll be a good time. I know when we get there. It's going to be late this afternoon, but we're going to go in and get unloaded and get prepped for our day tomorrow. Well, we were making good timing. Not anymore. But we've slowed down a lot. This is interstate driving and we're doing between 40 and 45. But at least it's a, at least we're not at a dead standstill. So we are moving some. But this is the first major traffic we have been in. So not terrible, but this has for sure put a damper on our time. Um, we are projected to be there in about two hours. But that's probably going to get a little bit longer now that we're getting into some pretty heavy traffic. So probably between two and two and a half hours we should be at our house that we're staying at but not too bad on timing this is definitely going to put a little bit of a damper on our on our time because we're going 40 between 40 and 45 on the interstate so fingers crossed we'll be there soon Jesus Lee. Yes, that is a palm tree that you see. We have made it to our little VRBO that we're staying at. And so far, everything has been fine. I'll let y'all take a little look in here. 
this is the main room. We've got kids on this side with the bathroom, kids on this side with the bathroom. There's a little gaming area in there with the washing machine and dryer. <laughs> Only problem we ran into was the fact in our room, thank goodness we had this in our trailer because when we come in, this door was shut and it was locked from the other side. So I was able to pick the door with this tiny little, thank goodness we had this, this tiny little screwdriver we were able to get in the door. So now it's just a process of unloading. We're gonna unload and wash our hands and stuff, kind of freshen up. Then there are, once we go back out of this neighborhood, you can see that we're like in a, kind of like a little small neighborhood area. Like there's an entrance up there and this is kind of like a little small neighborhood. And we're gonna go back out and there's like a little town down there and it has lots and lots of restaurants. We don't really love to eat out, but we didn't really get here early enough to uh, cook. We're just not gonna do that tonight. We, we knew that most of our kind of lunches and suppers were kind of gonna kind of be out. Not all of them, but some of them. I have obviously a kitchen. All of our breakfasts we will have here. And we are gonna have some meals that we um, carry in our backpacks, but not all of them. We will be forced to eat out some. That's just the nature of kind of being on, on the road a lot. But we did make it and we're very excited. I was going to show y'all the back. The back, is it nice out there? Yeah. The back, man, this would be super cool to have at our house. The screen over our pool. So we have our own little personal pool back here with the kids gate. And we did bring a floaty. So if the kids wanna swim at night, I'm not 100% sure how much they're gonna wanna do that because we're gonna be out on our feet tonight. all day. Yeah, y'all could swim tonight if y'all wanted to. And everything is really quiet and really nice. So we are excited. Tomorrow starts day one of our journey. We're gonna be at Magic Kingdom tomorrow. Y'all hang tight. I'll probably have a couple of days worth of us going to the different parks. We're gonna do a couple of days at Disney, a day at Universal Studios, a day at SeaWorld. I'm gonna bring you guys along for all of that. But for tonight, thank you for watching. Our journey here was um, pretty pleasant. So we did have a pretty good journey. We are going to wrap things up. I have got a cooler. I have got to get unloaded. We're going to go out for supper and call it a day. I have pretty much tomorrow mapped out. That was kind of a big deal to find out what we want to do at Magic Kingdom, what those times were and stuff like that. So I've already done all of that. We're going to go eat. We're going to come back and get baths and try to get in the bed early because the park opens early in the morning and we want to be there at least an hour early to get park, get through the gates and stuff like that. So that's kind of our plan for today. Thank you guys again for work tagging along with our adventure we are excited we've never been to this area we've never been to these parks so it's something new for us and new for the kids too and we think we're gonna have a good time we got here yesterday you guys saw us coming in and unpacked we of course you see our station where we sit down and do some of the video edits for you guys and realize that the whole first part of my video <laughs> Y'all, it's a love-hate relationship with this camera. The whole first part of my video that you guys have already seen, most of that cut was cut out the day that we were getting ready to leave, coming to Orlando. Yes, it was in slow-mo. I tried to check the camera, but when I flip it on and get ready to talk to you guys, it's really hard to remember to go into all those settings that are on this camera. So, yeah. Part of that was explaining the reason why we chose Disney. Now, I know a lot of you guys are kind of like, I can't believe the Max are going to Disney. We know they're liberal. The whole backstory behind that was, we had a, without trying to get into too much details, because I really don't have time for that this morning, is we had planned on coming down here, going to Universal Studios for several days. Then we were gonna drive, spend a whole day driving down to the Florida Keys. We were gonna spend a couple of days down there and then spend two days driving back home. The more I got to finding out what the Keys was kind of about, 
we decided that was not good for us. The exposure element to, to the kids is not really what we were wanting to go for. And the beaches are not really what we're familiar with. We had the beautiful, if anybody's ever gone to Destin or Sand Destin or that Crystal Beach area, it's not the same. So we really kind of, we kind of really weren't wanting to go that route. So we then decided, well, what else are we gonna do? The kids started begging to go to Disney. We were like, uh, we've never gone to Disney. We're not, you know, we don't support the liberal ideas. But I will say this, going in, we will be able to control family friendly things that our kids can see and things that we agree with um, morally. Now, my kids actually, Libby does not know, really, Mickey Mouse is about the only Disney character that she actually knows besides the Frozen, Anna, and Elsa. Other than that, she doesn't really know a lot of Disney characters because we don't watch, especially the new stuff, we don't watch any of the new stuff anyway. Um, and even my other kids only know the older Disney characters. So, and that would be like Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, and... Uh, Beauty and the Beast so you know we're not really concerned as far as that goes because there is a sense of we can control the elements there as far as family friendly goes and we were not going to get that from the Florida Keys so that's the reason why we changed our mind but we are up and at it this morning are y'all ready to go to Disney World yeah. y'all don't are you are you excited Yes, we are really, really excited. So I'm going to show you a whole day's worth of us at Magic Kingdom today. We have gotten up. Well, their time hasn't changed here. It's not actually five yet. It's actually six here. But I have cinnamon rolls that I brought from home already in the oven. I'm about to throw some eggs on that I brought. We already have our waters packed for today. I stayed up last night and did a lot of prepping. Um, and of course we brought our milk, our own milk. So that is the plan for today. We're just gonna prep and get all that stuff going. We hope to get in the gates um, early this morning because um, we know that it's gonna be a lot of people. We've already kind of prepared for the crowds and the crowd levels. So honestly, we're already prepared for that. Rain jackets are a must when you're here in Florida. And the only other thing that I would say that we are really kind of in a bind for is we are really far away from home. We're about 12 hours away from home. That was about the driving time that it took us between the stops and the bathrooms and the gas and, you know, all of the things when you're on the road. So about it was about a full 12 hours drive for us to get here. And I got a text message this morning from my church family and there are several in my church family that have the stomach virus so that makes me a little cringe a little because i know the stomach virus is already going around and you guys know that when we left colorado last time harley had picked it up the night we were supposed to leave and that was last september or october i think it was september so uh, that's a little stressful and we are here this is actually monday morning and we have already watched the weather channel because if you guys keep up with anything that happens in, on the coast which this is kind of late for hurricane season but needless to say there is a storm brewing down we have been watching it for for several days now but they're, they are predicting it to get a little bit stronger. It is gonna come up into the Gulf and then which way it goes from there right now, we don't know. Obviously, we're down in central Florida and it could hit Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas. So we're kind of in that limbo right now where we've already paid for here, we've already paid for our Disney tickets and there's a storm coming up and we don't know where it's gonna go. So a little nerve wracking there for sure. But we're not going to worry about that today. We're just going to kind of keep it in mind. We're going to kind of keep those things in mind, keep an eye out. And if we feel like we need to get out of here, we're going to go ahead and do that. But y'all, we're crossing our fingers prayerfully. We will not get to get away again for like another year probably at least. So we are going to do 
the best we can to just enjoy today and hope you guys enjoy tagging along as we head off to Magic Kingdom and Disney World. Mickey in the car? No, tell Okay, so we have, we have found out that when you travel with a bunch of children, they leave a lot of stuff in the car. And so therefore, we walked into the car this morning and saw that there has been rat, uh, rat droppings there. So that means there's a, another friend that came on vacation with us. And so we'll see if we can find him later on. Minnie Mouse come in the car with us. I guess because the kids leave their trash and stuff in the back of the car. No, I cleaned mine out yesterday. It has gotten in the car and I opened my door this morning to get in the car and sit down and I was like, there has been a rat or a mouse in my seat. So we had to clean all that up this morning before we could even come. Very fun morning already. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise up Why'd you give our kids a tattoo? So that way we know we can get back to them If all of a sudden they get mixed up and can't find us Let me see your tattoo, Jennings <laughs> So we know one of the common things that happens here because there's so many people and it's so crowded is sometimes if you're moving and your little one just freezes, they get lost in the, in the middle of a lot of people. So one of the things that we had seen in the past, which we thought was actually a wonderful idea, is we got a Sharpie and on all the kids that don't know our numbers to call us, we, it's written on their arm in a permanent marker so that if they do happen to get lost somebody that finds them or gets to them can very easily call us but we're we're that's not gonna happen say it's not gonna happen it better not happen <laughs> we've got basically three or four adults between Harley Aiden myself and Colby to kind of watch the little ones but their norm, numbers are written on our arms so for future reference if any of y'all ever get to kind of this situation uh, where you're going to be out and about amongst a bunch of people just remember you can write numbers on arms or other ways to put numbers on your kids so that if they do happen to get lost amongst the crowd they can get in touch with you i'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat i'm dancing through everything's about to come my way and i don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue no i don't care cause i am on my way up and i won't stop i won't slow down standing on my feet i'm gonna rise up no i won't stop it is my time It's like to be broke, yeah. And I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. <laughs> yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. <laughs> we have just gotten off of this ride trying and it was so much fun but to tell you that it was worth it y'all we waited in line for over two hours was it worth it for two hours y'all i don't know to be completely honest with you you know that we're big dollywood people we've always gone to that area we really like the area we really like the park we really like the rides so to say that magic kingdom can really 
stand up to that, I just don't know. We really like the Dollywood area. The, they have really big roller coasters there. And I know this has been fun and everything, and we have not seen anything inappropriate. I mean, any not any worse than we would see anywhere else. So it's really been clean. It has really been um, family friendly as far as what I have seen. I've not seen anything inappropriate. So we have been overall pleased with the environment as a whole, but to compare the rides and the wines here to what you get at Dollywood, there's just hands down no comparison. Um, but we have enjoyed our day. Our feet are really tired already, but we have had a really good time. And um, yeah, the lines has been the worst part for sure. This was this ride right here. It was a lot of fun, but to wait two hours for it, I don't know. There's better rides than this in Dollywood and the, the lines obviously are not two hours or not than when we have ever been there anyway. Maybe in the summer, but not for sure when we've been there. So Colby and Harley are on it now. We have to do the parent swap. So we get to wait two times, not just one time. And we're just trying to enjoy this experience right now, making memories really with the kids is what been what it's kind of been all about. That's kind of what we've wanted this whole journey to be around is experience with the kids. So we've come out to Magic Kingdom. Like I told you, we have enjoyed it. It has been different from what we're used to, but as far as like seeing anything completely inappropriate or having stuff shoved in our face, like we have not seen any of that. So we've been very pleased with that. Overall, I would say that this park is a very uh, family friendly park from what we've seen so far. So the sun is going down. I know they're gonna do a magic show um, by the castle in a little while. We're gonna go try to enjoy that and then wrap up our day because it has been really long. Um, we're gonna enjoy the fireworks, hang out for a little bit longer, and then we're gonna wrap up our day. We are about to watch clips of the fireworks right here in front of the castle. When we finish this, I'm not exactly sure what our plans are to stay in the park or leave, but I'm gonna show you guys some clips of this and then it won't be too much longer. We're gonna be calling it a night. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars God bless and happy home That you can take me high Feels like I can fly 